guys. We have another very busy weekend coming at us this weekend energetically. We have Mars moving into Scorpio. We have the sun coming into an exact square with Saturn. We have Uranus shifting degrees. We have Mercury opposing the Eris point. And we have a lot of Jupiter aspects going on. This should be a very revealing weekend. We have, you know, there's some beautiful aspects going on as well that should really do a lot to uplift our heart and expose a lot of truths to us, but there's some tensions that we're definitely dealing with as well and some volatility coming in. So let's talk about it. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today is Friday, October 29th, 2021. My name is Aubrey and this is your astrological outlook for the weekend. In my report today, I'm going to be going over the energetics that we have incoming today, Friday, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday as we move through this weekend and head towards the new moon in Scorpio that is rapidly approaching next week. So let's get right down to business, jump into the energetics for Friday. I am going to try to go a little more rapidly through the energetics today since I have to get three days done and one, and I would like to be able to have time to get to the tarot for the weekend as well. So let's see how I do. Starting off on Friday, first things first, this day is going to have themes surrounding exposing hidden truths. Right off the bat, we have the sun coming in at seven degrees of Scorpio on Friday. And the Sabian symbol or energetic of that degree described in a picture form that really gives us more information about why, you know, what is actually going on symbolically in terms of the positioning of the planets at this current point in time. That is what the Sabian symbols show us. The Sabian symbol seven Scorpio today, where the sun is, is deep sea divers. And so... The, the undercurrent symbolic theme of the day in the context for which the other aspects I will be talking about are actually unfolding has a lot to do with seeing under the surface of things and everything and anything that we might find there. Definitely seeing down into the depths is the energetic undercurrent of what else is unfolding with the energetics that we have going on on Friday. And on Friday, we really only have two primary energetic activations going on. One of them is the sun in square to Saturn, although there is still a one degree orb separation between these two planets. But this is building and this will be coming exact tomorrow on Saturday. Saturn is currently at eight degrees of Aquarius, now direct. And the sun today, like I said, is at seven degrees of Scorpio, both fixed signs coming into an exact 90 degree angle tomorrow. But this energy is building today and we really might feel this. So I'm going to just briefly talk about this aspect because it's building today for Friday. And then when I get into the energy for tomorrow, I will talk more in depth about this specific aspect. But whenever we have the sun coming into a square with Saturn, it's always going to bring up themes of like duty and obligation and responsibility to anything, others or circumstances, situations, whatever, versus like a self gratification and what we want to be doing for ourselves. So this is sort of like always going to be the struggle when we have the sun in a square to Saturn. And it can also bring up conflict with authority figures or feeling like limited, restricted, constricted, obstructed, frustrated, or just held back in some type of a way. And we have to remember right now the sun is in Scorpio. And so this is really like wanting us at this point in time to be shining a light into root issues, into like discovering things that have been happening under the surface, analyzing like deeply into things. This is what the sun in Scorpio does. And, um... These power struggles, because we're dealing with a square to Saturn, could be in relation to bosses or authority figures in your life. And there are also themes of the father that are present in this aspect as well, as both the sun and Saturn can symbolically represent the father archetype as well. So there could be conflict or issues in regards to a father, a paternal situation, um, authority figures generally at this point in time. So that is something that we may be feeling today as this aspect builds into exactness tomorrow. And, you know, remember, Saturn is an Aquarius right now. And so this may be like feeling a duty, a sense of duty or obligation or responsibility to like the group or the overall whole or the overall good in some type of a way. And then, you know, the square bringing up the need to like experience the self-gratification in terms of 
what we are like seeking out, searching now and wanting to like passionately put our energy into right now with Scorpio being the theme in contrast to maybe what we perceive as our duty to the overall whole to the overall good. And this also, it just brings up themes of like duty, discipline towards doing the right thing also with Saturn and Aquarius. Now, the other aspect though, that we have going on on Friday, this is like very beautiful, very wonderful. And honestly, despite the fact that we do have this difficult Saturn Sun Square building, we should actually be feeling quite optimistic about things generally. And that's because we have the moon in Leo on Friday. It's going to be coming into an opposition with Jupiter and simultaneously a sextile to Mercury. And remember, both of these planets have just recently stationed direct. So we are getting like a moon activation today of both of the planets that have just recently stationed direct. And with the moon in an opposition, especially the moon in Leo in an opposition to Jupiter and Aquarius, this could really have us feeling like much more optimistic and joyful about things today and hopeful as well. And like, talking about it in some type of a big way with this simultaneous sextile going on to Mercury, the messenger planet that is now going direct and really just wants to talk about what has been discovered through this retrograde process. So there should be generally some optimistic, hopeful, positive feelings coming through today. And we may be very conversational and social as well. This may be a big information day in the news, things that, because remember, there is also this undertone today about seeing under the depths of things, seeing what has really been going on deep under the surface with the sun at the degree deep sea divers and also in the square to Saturn because Saturn also is the Lord of Karma and with the sun and Scorpio, things that have been hidden, um, like corruption and stuff like that may also be exposed under all like under the simultaneous Jupiter aspect that's happening with this as well. So big information day possibly coming through, but with Jupiter being in Aquarius, whatever is exposed or whatever is coming out right now is genuinely going to be for the good of humanity. And the same thing with Saturn being in Aquarius right now too, with these two planets in Aquarius, it has a lot to do with the greater good in terms of even this, these conflicts that are happening right now are trying to move us into a place that is more truly aligned with our higher good, our greater good, our true authenticity. And any news that comes out today in the same way is probably going to be in relation to truth that benefits the greater good in one way or another. Busy communication day, very joyful, social, optimistic, fun, loving energy. The moon is like I said, the moon in Leo and on opposition to Jupiter, this can also bring like overblown emotions of joy and love and optimism. And like I said, we are talking about it and we are sharing about it with the sextile to Mercury, a lot of genuine truth in the information coming with Jupiter. And also remember, we just had a sextile yesterday between Jupiter and Venus that was exact. And that energy is still in effect because even though it's not exact anymore, Venus is still very close in the sextile. It's only a one degree orb and she's also in Sagittarius. So we are still having some of this beautiful residual expanded high heart energy carrying over from yesterday. If you watched my, or if you missed my video yesterday, I talked a lot about that aspect yesterday in that video. Um, and the moon in Leo later tonight will also move into a trine with Venus and Sagittarius, both in fire signs. And um, this is even more of that beautiful, passionate, heart-based energy that we will have coming in overnight tonight and carrying over as we begin the day tomorrow, which tomorrow is our big day of the weekend. But this is great relationship energy also that we have going on Friday, really because it's really trying to show us the truth about relationships and more so the truth about our own relationship to our own self-love, our own self-value, our own connection to what we truly desire in life and our own like authentic um, like passions and what we, what we care about and wanting to have the freedom to align and to live a life that experiences and expresses those things. And as we cultivate this relationship and we are like filled with self-love internally as a result of this aspect, that also extrapolates out and improves and benefits the relationships that we have in our life currently or the relationships that we are attracting and bringing into our life now. So this is very good love relationship energy 
that we have going on on Friday, even though we have this difficult square between the sun and Saturn building. So let's get in now to the energy that we have coming in for Saturday. Again, this really is the big volatile day that we have going on this weekend. There are five major like energetic activations happening. First of all, we have Mars moving into Scorpio. Mars is one of the rulers of Scorpio. Mars has been in Libra for the past, you know, while transit or expressing the Libra energies, this has probably been bringing up a lot of conflict in relationships. Um, but now in like a big focus, putting a lot of energy into relationships as well, relating to other people, socializing, communing with others, um, and also bringing up conflicts and tension and aggression and fights in relationships. Now, with Mars moving into Scorpio, this is an energetic shift for sure, and this is a very different expression of our energy that we're going to be experiencing over the next couple of months while Mars is transiting through his sign of Scorpio. This is also reactivating and bringing back up the Mars-Pluto square energy that we had go on last week because Mars and Pluto are both the co-rulers of Scorpio, and now we have Mars moving into Scorpio ruled by both Mars and Scorpio still, you know this energy is still reverberating through and will be for, um, you know, it's just carrying through the Scorpio cycle as we knew that it would. Anyways, Mars and Scorpio, this energy is, it brings lots of personal power, okay? And it is motivated primarily by very deep passions. With Mars and Scorpio, this is very driven energy. This is very strategic energy. We're putting energy into purging and purifying and regenerating and transforming on very deep levels. This is also action going on behind the scenes, doing things in secret, doing things in a way that other people don't see, doing things behind the scenes, preparation, practice, willpower, and intensity are all characteristics of the Mars and Scorpio and the way that energy expresses itself. So over the next few, it takes Mars about two days to transit one degree. There are 30 degrees in a sign. So it takes about, you know, two months generally for Mars to transit one sign. So over that period of time, while Mars is discharging the Scorpio energy, we can just generally expect people to be really focusing their energy on their deep passions, a lot of regeneration, a lot of transformation going, going on, a lot of, um, energy put into like healing deep wounds, self analysis, introspection, and again, just being motivated by like very deep passions and things like practicing, preparing, doing things behind the scenes, action taken that not, that people aren't necessarily witnessing preparation, stuff like that. Like that is how the energy will be operating more so now that we have Mars and Scorpio and not in Libra. So focused on the relationship, the partnership, the socializing, the communicating. This is like very deep feelings with Mars and Scorpio and putting energy into things surrounding that. Okay. So that is how the energy is going to be operating now that we have Mars and Scorpio. The next big thing that we have going on today, like I said, is the exact square from the Sun and Scorpio to Saturn in Aquarius. On Sunday, the sun will be at eight degrees of Scorpio. That Sabian symbol is the moon shining across a lake. And um, Saturn right now is at eight degrees of Aquarius, beautifully gowned wax figures on display. So again, in the context of this square, always bringing up themes and issues regarding duty and responsibility versus self gratification. This is also like what images are we feeling the duty and the obligation to uphold versus our own internal reflections and knowing that we have going on simultaneously right now. It's like that may be because of the degrees that are being symbolically discharged by this specific square. Saturn, beautifully gowned wax figures on display. What duty do we feel to uphold a beautiful image, a beautiful presentation, an ideal of something versus the self-gratification that we would receive through being able to express and to live in alignment with these things that we are reflecting on and that we are intuiting and that we are really knowing deeply within ourselves to be true, the, the true root of things. So that is sort of symbolically how 
the energy is being represented in the context of this square. But um, again, it's like how much self-gratification do you owe yourself versus what duties and responsibilities do you owe to others? And in the context of, again, it being Scorpio and Aquarius, the sun in Scorpio wants to shine the light on the root of things and discover what's going on under the surface. And Saturn in Aquarius has a duty and an obligation to like the overall good. And, um, or, you know, cause, cause it, Saturn Aquarius can really go both ways. It's like a feeling of duty and obligation to the overall good and to doing, you know, what is best for everybody. Or simultaneously, it can be a duty and an obligation to aligning with our own authentic truth and with our own authenticity. And any way that it plays out, it's just always going to boil down to this feeling of duty, obligation, and responsibility on one hand, and this desire to have some type of self-gratification on the other hand. And it's going to be about, you know, authenticity or the overall good on one hand, and really getting to the root of the issue on the other hand. So that is really the struggle that is going on with the sun and square to Pluto. And again, this does bring up a lot of tension, a lot of conflict, inner frustrations, and, you know, potentially, of course, with Saturn also in the sun, like I said, conflict with authority figures, conflict with um, parental situations, and stuff like that. Anyone who sort of has control over you in some type of a way, there could be some conflict arising. But yeah, it's really always pushing us to grow and to evolve and to find our way out through a process of growth when the squares are going on. So if you are experiencing some type of thing along the lines of this today, it's probably a result of this square that we have going on. Also, just to turn up the heat a little bit more, we have Mercury today, our messenger planet, information, communication, thoughts, ideas coming into an exact opposition with the Eris point. Now, if you follow my work, I talk about the Eris point regularly, regularly, <laughs> whenever um, it's really being activated because this is a very potent and powerful place in the sky. It's 21 degrees of Aries. The Sabian symbol associated with this degree is a boxer entering the ring. It is the point in the sky where Eris, the planet Eris, was originally discovered and it holds all of the frequencies and archetypes and resonances energetically that are associated with Eris herself. And it really is ultimately about freedom, liberation, and breaking the chains at any cost in order to achieve those things. Whenever the Eris point is activated, it can put us in sort of a very rebellious or fighting mood because we're just not taking it. We are ready to throw the apple of discord. And, you know, according to the mythology, like we are just standing up for ourselves and we're not really too concerned with what needs to fall away or literally get blown up in order for that truth to be made apparent and that we can align with it. So in the context, you know, also of this Saturn sun square that we have going on today and Mars moving into Scorpio, we also have this Mercury Eris point opposition going on. And this could also bring up arguments and fights and verbal conflicts, specifically in relationships, because Mercury is in Libra right now. Fighting words generally would be like a keyword of Mercury opposing the Eris point. And it's because, like I said, this creates a desire to mentally break free from verbally, um, mentally break free from, from and verbally fight back against anything standing in the way of authentic, genuine truth. Breaking free from mind control with this also and like hypnosis or like mental loops that we find ourselves in. It's like, this is also like a snapping out of it type of energetic. And you might want to be careful in traffic with this. It could bring on a bit of road rage with people as well. Mercury rules traffic in short distance since travel. So something that you might also want to be aware of with Mercury opposing the Aries point today. But generally, this is like truth bombs. And yesterday on Friday, we had Jupiter making these aspects that were also bringing a lot of very revealing and true information to the collective. And now today we have Mercury opposing the Aries point. So it's kind of like maybe possibly what is revealed or exposed on Friday really pushes us to a point of snapping out of it. And speaking our mind about some things on Saturday, maybe possibly having some fighting words. And, you know, if you're using these energetics and you find yourself in these situations and things playing out like this for you, realize, you know, you're probably making the right choice right now, but just make sure that you're not coming out of your ego because 
right now, all of the energy, everything has everything to do with helping us to align with our higher selves and our intuition and our spiritual connection and our true authentic, like, desires and love and like who we truly are and what is really, really meaningful and what is the true contents of our heart and really trying to realign our lives in a way where we can live in alignment with that. But if that's like the exact opposite of any type of ego based urges or yearnings or anything like that, and this is not the energy that you really want to be denying your own personal authenticity in order to chase or align with an ego ideal or to feed your ego in some type of a way because that is just not supported right now in the energetics and it's all about the truth and it's all about being real and anything that is like fake or projection or presentation right now is just not really going to be supported or probably have the best outcome under these energetics. So just make sure whatever conflicts or fights or arguments arise, you're truly coming from a place of authentic, genuine truth and not um, getting into an ego conflict so that you can prove some point that is really irrelevant to things changing in a way that like promote your highest good, okay? So I just wanted to state that as well because with all this Mars energy, this sun energy and, you know, the potential for conflict and arguments, we always want to be sure that it is coming from a place of needing to freely express our truth and not dominate someone else through our own ego urges and desires. The next thing that we have going on today, we have the moon in square to the nodes as well. So this is also like there's an aspect of today that is like a dust and faded energy, things happening, potentially not in the most comfortable way because it's a square, but happening in order to move things in a direction that is in the, the alignment that is leading us towards this more authentic cause and purpose. And we also have Uranus shifting degrees today. So this could definitely, you know, cause some type of shocking or surprising things happen that could be like quite uncomfortable, but they're for the purpose of moving us in some direction that is actually going to benefit our ability to come into alignment with the true contents of our heart and soul and really be able to move forward in that direction and create a life that is synonymous with that going forward because that is the whole push energetically right now as we transition into the age of Aquarius. So with the moon squaring the nodes, say the moon in Virgo, we're moon in Virgo squaring the north and the south node. Remember the north and the south node, the north node is the, the destiny, the future path, the collective evolutionary path of our soul at this point in time that universe wants to take us on. And the South Node is really what we have learned already and become good and sufficient at and what we need to release and let go of in order to move forward in this new direction in order in, down this evolutionary path. We can't do the things that the North Node is pulling us to do unless we release and let go of the things from the past that are holding us back from being able to go through this evolutionary process, basically. North and the South Node, that's what the energetics represent. And now when we have the moon coming in square to this, especially in Virgo right now, this could bring up themes on Saturday as well of sort of like analyzing internally and taking kind of like an inventory on all that has happened recently up until like where you find yourself now, all that's changed, where you are at right now in the context of where you're coming from and what you need to do next in order to begin to move forward or make some changes in some type of a way. This could bring up some internal discomfort, difficult emotions are very possible with this as well. But here's my advice for, you know, the feeling nature of the day today with the moon in Virgo. We should not allow ourselves to be overly critical or judgmental or feel like a failure for where we're at right now, which can be a tendency with the moon in Virgo. Energetics are challenging enough today, really, with, you know, all of that we have, all this volatility and all that we have going on without also embracing like a harsh inner critic that is judging our progress as well with the moon and the square to the north and the south node, especially in Virgo. This could really be like having us judging the progress of where we're at today and being a little bit like overly critical about things. And it's just not necessary. We don't really need to put ourselves through that because there's a lot of like tension and conflict and potential for just like 
a lack of peace today mentally, and we really don't need to be harshly judging ourselves on an emotional level as well. So we should really be trying our best today to see the positivity in the progress that we've made and to, you know, have faith that we are going to make even more better progress going forward and not be overly critical of where we are at right in this moment. And then, like I said as well, we also have Uranus changing degrees on Saturday. Five big things going on. And Uranus, though, is it, this could bring shocks, surprises, upheavals, things happening out, out of the blue, totally unexpected, and especially in the context of the moon and square to the nodes again. And Uranus, because Uranus is the fixer, Uranus is the great rectifier, there could definitely be things that are spontaneously happening today that might seem like somewhat of a crisis, but it is actually for the purpose of realigning things in a better way so that you can move forward down a path that will ultimately bring you much more authentic fulfillment. That is every transit that Uranus is making right now, that is what the purpose behind it actually is. And this is not an exception. Also, Uranus is moving to 13 degrees of Taurus, and this degree is a porter carrying a mountain of heavy baggage. And with Uranus at this degree as well, remember in the context of Uranus being the fixer, Uranus being the rectifier, Uranus being the silver lining planet, Uranus is actually taking the weight of something for us, moving things for us in the right direction. The, the porter carrying a, bag, a mountain of heavy baggage. And then... As, so, that, so that is the energetics for Saturday, and we have Uranus moving to that degree. So Uranus actually is letting us know that while, at, while discharging this degree, things may be happening that relieve us of a burden that we have been carrying. And it will happen in a very Uranian, unexpected, uncomfortable fashion, most likely. But anything that is removed from your life and taken off your hands at this point in time is definitely a great blessing in disguise and will ultimately open up a path for you that leads to a much greater level of fulfillment going forward. So something to keep in mind. Now let's talk about the energetics for Sunday. We really only have one major energetic going on Sunday. We're still sort of like recovering energetically from everything that has transpired on Saturday. But that one aspect is a trine that is going on between the moon still in Virgo and Uranus, who recently just moved to 13 Taurus, that degree, a porter carrying a mountain of heavy baggage in Taurus. So it's almost like today, any damage that was done yesterday with all of these like heated, volatile aspects, the universe is coming in today and rectifying things and putting them how they need to be. The trine between the moon and Uranus. We may get some shocks and surprises and strange things happening on Sunday, but is to but it is ultimately to relieve some type of burden, take something heavy off of our hands, move something out of the way for us so we can move more easily down towards our goal, down our path, whatever we're trying to accomplish right now. And um it, it's just it's it's relieving something that we've been encumbered by and the weight that we've been carrying is being lifted for us in some type of a way with Uranus at this degree through whatever occurs, whatever is removed from our life at this point in time under these Uranus transits, especially this weekend. And also last week with the Mars square Pluto, Uranus, Uranus, Uranus and universe are both really, really trying right now to break us out of toxic situations that have been keeping us out of alignment with our authentic truth that will ultimately lead to our authentic fulfillment. So we can't like whatever is transpiring, whatever we are losing, whatever is being taken off our hands right now, it is because Uranus is working to help fix our problems. We also have the sun on Sunday at nine degrees of Scorpio. That Sabian symbol is a dentist hard at work. So like both by the sun and the moon aspects and degrees, repairs are underway today. We have the moon in aspect to the fixer, and then we have the sun at a degree specifically talking about a dentist hard at work, repairs taking place. So that is what is going on today. It's almost like anything that came out of alignment yesterday with all of this activity that we had going on is actually being rectified, fixed, and repaired according to the symbolic energetics and the transits as well on Sunday. We also have Mercury at 22 degrees of Libra on Sunday. That is only one degree off as an exact trine to Jupiter, which will be coming in tomorrow. So this is, again, 
more big news, more big information, big ideas, big conversations, big news, big information coming through today. Very busy energy on Sunday. Could be a very chaotic energy as well with Mercury in a trine to Jupiter and the moon in trying to Uranus. You can find out some real surprising information. Absolutely on Sunday for sure. Overall, Sunday repairs underway, things falling into place, inspired optimistic ideas, and big changes incoming. So that's really what we have going on this weekend energetically, you guys. You know, Friday, we are building into the square with Saturn. We have the moon in Leo opposing Jupiter in the sextile to Mercury. Big information, feeling really pretty positive and optimistic on, on Friday, learning things, exposure of hidden truths. Saturday is our big day, duty versus self-gratification for sure. Mars into Scorpio, Mercury opposite the Aries point, Sun square Saturn, Moon square nodes, Uranus changing degrees. Poof, crazy day on Saturday. And then Sunday, the Moon trining Uranus and just these repairs underway. And we also have Mercury building into the exact trine with Jupiter. So it could be some very strange information coming through on Sunday. So that's what we have for the energetics this weekend, you guys. I have a couple minutes. I'm going to talk really, really quickly about the tarot. So as I was shuffling the cards, asking universe to please clarify the collective energy for me this weekend, we got a couple of cards spinning out of the deck. The first one, I can't say I'm surprised to see this come out because this card has just been coming out like multiple times a week, I feel like lately. And it is the seven of cups in reverse. It keeps coming out in reverse. It was very obvious. This was the card that was wanted out in reverse. No longer in delusion. We're no longer in delusion. Then we got another card that also spit out of the deck. This card was the four of pentacles in reverse. We're no longer holding on to something. We are no longer grasping to something for dear life. So we are no longer in delusion about things. And we are no longer grasping on to something for dear life. And what is it? What is it that we're no longer in delusion about? And what is it that we are no longer grasping on to for dear life? Well, it's the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's all of our ideals of the past that did not lead to genuine fulfillment and genuine happiness. We are not holding on to the inversion of true authentic fulfillment. And anything that is keeping us out of alignment with that. We're no longer in delusion about it. We are no longer holding on to it. And what that it is, is the inversion of authentic, genuine love, fulfillment, joy, and happiness. So that is what I have for the energetics this weekend. That is what the tarot is saying about the where the collective is currently. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope I was able to provide some information for you today that can give you some assistance or some clarity as you navigate the energetics this weekend. If you liked this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. If you think they would be interested, leave me comments. I love your comments. If you want to get a hold of me for any reason, astrology at gmail.com. I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group as well if you are interested in that. And definitely come back with me on Monday, you guys. We have a whole new week of energetics going on and we are moving into a new moon in Scorpio that is always characterized by a bit of intensity, but I have a feeling this, this one's probably going to be even more intense. So I will see you on Monday and have a beautiful weekend, everybody. Bye, guys.